rail line unfortunately has been closed for since September and it's now uh, May 13th and it finally reopened uh, yesterday which was May 12th. This morning an assembly manager and myself took the train from Atlantic City to Hamilton just to see what it was like. We counted, counted on the rail service for Atlantic City bringing people from Philadelphia to Atlantic City to enjoy the casinos, the beaches, the boardwalk. Uh, that's what we're about, tourism. Taking the bus to work as opposed to train to work is almost double their commute time. So they were all in favor of going back on the train again. Uh, like I said this morning, we had people on the train. Uh, it's going to take a while to get the riders back because eight months is a long time to be able without that. Uh, but I think it's all good. Uh, I think we're moving in the right direction. and. Uh, we're going to have to feel out how we're going to do with these schedules. Uh, Atlantic City has always been a 24-hour town. I think it's important that you have a mode of transportation that uh, adheres to a 24-hour town. So if we cut services at night uh, after 10.30, I believe, I think that that's a disservice to, to Atlantic City. I think they're missing the boat by not advertising this. You've never seen any kind of advertisement for take the train to Atlantic City. Um, and some of the has said about tourism, and, and that's a great part of it. Uh, but we do have residents going to Philadelphia for doctor appointments or, or just going into the city. Unfortunately, we didn't have this mode of transportation for eight months, and we have to uh, restart and hopefully remarket Atlantic City and make it better as far as the service and getting people back to Atlantic City.